is the energy vibration lesson for the Sun moon and rising sign for the Pisces I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back I want to say to you Pisces um, please like shares and subscribe it is the week of an air energy it is a week of the star and the zodiac energy of hair um, your birthdays are coming up you Pisces so um, let's see what is happening for you guys in this week on Monday for the Pisces we have the energy of the eye princess this is good it is your energy vibration the energy of the eye princess is is your energy vibration and this is good so on Monday a lot of information via your intuition is going to come in some people are going to be highly intuitive on Monday on Tuesday the energy of judgment another water sign this is good in an air week you have balance Monday and Tuesday is very good because you have the eye princess and judgment which is also the energy of you know and, and, and that's it I should say this to you guys because you know you Pisces are you know wonderful people and there was something I was um, doing some research on you Pisces because um, you Pisces have one of the, the zodiac sign and you have the energy of uh, um, the high princess you hold the energy of the high princess and the angman and judgment and this is good because Monday and Tuesday is going to be two wonderful wonderful days for you let's see what we have on Wednesday on Wednesday we have the energy of the king of Pentacles in a reverse so this is good uh, no yeah he is in reverse I've been shuffling these cards these king of Pentacles has been coming up in reverse on Thursday you have the energy of death and transformation now the energy of death is actually the energy of the cancers okay so um, uh, this is in reverse so this is in reverse the energy of the cancers are in reverse so we're going to take so you have the energy of uh, the kings the kings the king of Pentacles in reverse and the energy of that in reverse so um, whoever this cancer is uh, apparently this cancer had an effect in your life and it is now in the reverse form he has no more effect in your life you have the energy of the Emperor Emperor is a good energy and the Emperor is a positive energy because this is for some of you this Emperor is um, um, work success at work but some this emperor is the sign of the Aries so let's see what is happening on Saturday you have the ace of cups so this is good um, this is wonderful the ace of cups is um, always 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 very positive and let's look what we have for the Pisces on a Sunday we have the energy of the nine of Pentacles. So this is wonderful. This is positive. Again, someone has the energy of um, the chariot. So the Leos had the energy of the chariot. You guys have the energy of the chariot. So this is going to be good. So what I'm seeing um, happening and transpiring in um, your week is that um, the energy of this chariot is. Um, coming out of a situation and moving forward okay so it says there was a situation that you have to deal with the king of Pentacles whoever this king of Pentacles is it can a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn and this um, energy is now come to an end because he's no longer there and uh, this is coming to an end some of you will have a situation that has to do with someone who is a cancer because the crowning of the week is the energy of death in reverse so this could be a cancer person who was affecting your life and is now out of your life so this is um, very 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 good okay so 
there is um, a positive outcomes that is going to come for you because a lot of you are going to be very successful in your work on especially on Friday you are going to receive success so Monday and Tuesday is going to be your very very best days Monday Tuesday Friday Saturday and Sunday so the only two days is going to be Wednesday and Thursday when the energy of the, the, the king is there and the energy of that which is for some people is a transition from the king and for some people it is a cancer person as we look at the first half of the week your financial situation is going to be balanced you're holding on and what you have and you're trying to survive your um, by you know and it's going to be good because a, a payment is going to come out in the first of the week for um, you guys or you're going to hear of this uh, money coming to you in the, in, 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 in the first half of the week because the energy of the eye princess and judgment Monday and Tuesday is going to be a wonderful day and it's going to be a successful day for a lot of the people who are working it's going to be success for you at work um, for some of you it's going to be if you were looking for work you're going to have an idea over what to do so that you can bring money in your life and this is going to be wonderful and positive so overall the first half of the week is going to be good because at work if you're a creative person it's going to be wonderful it's going to be an extremely wonderful thing because with your creativity it's going to bring success in your life as we look at the middle of the week we see the energy of judgment the ace of cups for the king of Pentacles who is this king of Pentacles there is a judgment that came up for this king of Pentacles and he's in a reverse form new love is going to come because this king of Pentacles has been working against you for a very long time and now there is a judgment new love is coming in for you and you're standing up for yourself and this is going to be very good you're really really standing up for yourself and saying no to things that has been happening and because you stand up for yourself and say no people are respecting you for who you are and this is going to be wonderful so um, this is good because a lot of people are saying you know you're you're, you're standing up to a situation and saying no and um, a judgment comes out and this is a judgment against someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn but you're saying no and because you stand up for yourself and saying you know I'm not accepting this people start to love you for who you are and this is good okay as we look at the end of the week we have the energy of the five of Pentacles not to worry because whatever that was happening with this night of um, Knight of Pentacles and the transformation of that this is here and you come out with the energy of the nine of Pentacles so it's all about Pentacles because you're trying to you know hold your financial situation in balance and you are you know protecting yourself against um, certain aspect that is transpiring and the energy of the five of Pentacles is there is no hardship because money is going to come in it just takes some time but money is going to come in and this is wonderful but there is you know there is some questions that I'd like to ask what is this energy that is happening with eye princess and judgment energy of the eye princess of judgment um, they're just saying you know you have a protective guides against you and not to worry about this because this is going to be okay you just need to have some balance right now as we look at judgment and the king of Pentacles that is saying that um because this is a six and two eight of cups you are leaving a situation behind who you know this energy of this king of pentacles you're really leaving the situation behind whoever this person was um wh whoever um this person was you know you stand up and you said no to the air and no further and you're leaving this situation behind and you're moving forward okay so as we look and see what is happening to this king of Pentacles and the energy of debt money is going to be coming out for you and this is going to be good because as I said in the beginning is as if this king of Pentacles whoever this person was Taurus Virgo or Capricorn was trying to block your financial situation and here is that this out um, this payment is going to be happening um, it and, and and this king of Pentacles was working with a cancer person someone who was a cancer or whatever that was transpiring for some of you 
he's no longer going to affect your financial situation and there comes to an end so money is going to be paid out the ace your financial situation is going to be good because here you have the ace of pentacles five of pentacles and the nine of pentacles so whatever that has been happening this is going to be good at work people are going to have respect for you there's a lot of love that is going to be coming in people are going to see that you are very good at what you do and by um, you know really looking and seeing what it is that is um, important for you and seeing the work that you have put out there is going to be a lot of help that is coming in so the message that is coming is you know the message of you know you just need to have balance in this time as things are ending is going and a new beginning in your materialistic um world whatever you need if your financial was a little bit low it's going to come good um listen to your intuition and guides because they're bringing forward a message to you about um, someone who is an, a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn that the rain that he was raining and blocking your financial situation is has, has now come to an end it can also be a cancer person okay so for some people it's going to be the energy of the king of Pentacles for some people it's going to be a cancer person then you have another message that is saying that your financial situation you know you're holding on to what you have and you're protecting yourself against not to come in financial problem and this is good because um, work is going to come in um, for some people and new people are going to be connecting with you and this is going to be um, um, you know money is you're going to make a lot of money okay you're going to make a lot of money so a new beginning so this is good because what is happening is that with the energy of the chariot a new beginning is coming for you the energy of the chariot is bringing you away from something that no longer serve you and moving you to something that is much better a new beginning a positive new beginning is going to happen this new beginning is going to move you to a place where you felt as if you or the one the place you need to be it's going to be positive um it's it's, it's new beginning in love but it's it's love that um you're moving away from a situation you're you you know and you're moving to something that is much better this love that is coming in is as if you start to love yourself and saying um you know to hear and no further i'm not accepting certain things in my life and you stand up and you and some of you who are having a relationship with this uh, taurus a virgo or capricorn person you are saying you know to hear and no further um and you're starting out on a, a new beginning a new part in your life for some people who were dealing with someone who's a cancer you're saying you know this is it I'm not accepting certain things and you're going for a new beginning it's either you start we start over or you know there is the road you know you can take whatever part you want but you are going on a positive journey and having a new beginning and this is going to be yeah so let's see my voice is going so I'm nearly at the end so this is good um, let's see what you came in this week what did you come in this week with poise and this is really really a, a week that you came in like your pause for the week to begin because um, you knew that you were leaving something behind is as if you throw up your hands and you said okay I'm ready here I am and this is wonderful because whenever the energy of poise come in is that you have finished something and you're leaving something behind and you're saying look I'm ready for whatever is coming and you knew because you have the energy of the chariot and the and the energy of the chariot is bringing you a new beginning it's moving you to some place there's going to be a lot of awares and things are happening and you're just poised you leave the the old week and coming in and you're just poised you're just ready for this new week and it's it's, it's going to be good let's see what you're leaving this week with and um, let's see what you're leaving this week with you're leaving this week with a nine of uh, um, the nine of sword but this nine of sword um, that you're in that you're leaving this week with we're going to just um, try and see 
what is this nine of swords what is all this worries what is you know and whenever the nine of swords come oh three of swords heartbreak I'm sorry three of swords so you're leaving the week with heartbreak let's see what this heartbreak is all about because um, it could be uh, you're leaving a week with heartbreak no nope, it's not a heartbreak it's something that is good and wonderful okay so it's as if um, it's as if this nine of sword um, you thought that you had an heartbreak but you know it's actually a blessing in this guys um, it's not really a heartbreak it's, it's, it's actually a blessing in disguise because there is this luck and there is something that is coming out okay so um, it's, 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 it's really not an heartbreak you thought that you had a heartbreak you thought that maybe you know something has transpired and you have a heartbreak but it's not really a heartbreak because what is happening is that um, the energy of the nine is um, especially in the, the question acts in the question the energy of the nine is always a card of joy gifts invitation hopes and satisfaction and that is coming in from um, a man so for you ladies so for you ladies you men out there some of you are having double relationship because um, a main character is close to another woman which for some of you women you're going to realize that there is a man that is having an extra maybe you're having a relationship with this man but it's a charming man and he is having a relationship with someone else you know so um, main character you know and you felt heartbreak because he you know this man is is married and he has someone else this man is married and he has someone else okay so um i'm seeing this coming up with 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 someone with 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 another sign and this is the thing about it is that there is some of you who are having a relationship with a man who is married he's very charming and he's always coming with stuff you know he's very very charming and it's as if you wanted to break this relationship there's a heartbreak and this is what the heartbreak is telling you because you're ending the week feeling as if there's a heartbreak it's not a heartbreak it's a blessing in disguise remove this man out of your life whoever he is because he's very charming but he is is having and he's married this man is married okay you, you 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 knew he was married or some of you a married man committed promise um, to each other okay so um you have a heartbreak some of you women have a heartbreak over um this man he's a married man and he's committed to um his wife you know he's a married man he's committed a promise if he's not married he's committed to, to someone else leave this alone because there is a man out there for you oh my gosh leave this alone there is a man out there for you um, this man is actually a fool um, you need to release this man and have a new start okay so ladies and gentlemen I want to say thank you please like shares and namaste